Hello friends, welcome to BASPICE, Bala School for Process Instrumentation and Control Engineering. This is Ram Bala with you. In today's video, we will discuss about control wall characteristics. So basically this is like a refresher. Of course, we all knew what is it, characteristics, but you know, my intent is to uh, give a refresher on this. The topic is just limited to characteristics uh, for this video, but there are many more topics um, or in pipeline, which related to bar selection, material selection, all this. So it will be coming one by one uh, in the subsequent weeks. Just only request is you please keep supporting me. Please pass some time to watch my videos. Okay, friends. And if interested or if you like all these, you know, concepts, just subscribe. Okay, friends. So, yes, this is the topic we are going to discuss. Quick opening, linear and equal percentage. Okay, friends, let's get started. So, first we will see what is valve flow characteristics. Second is what is inherent flow characteristics. Third, what is install flow characteristics? Fourth, linear flow characteristics. Fifth, equal percentage flow characteristics. Sixth, quick opening flow characteristics. And the last seventh, but not the least. Where and all this linear flow, equal percentage, quick opening concept or characteristics going to be used? Okay, friends, I think the agenda is clear. We'll move on with the details. Okay, valve flow characteristics. What is valve flow characteristics? Basically, it's a relationship between the stem travel and the flow of fluid. Okay, friends, I think we all knew this. So, stem travel expressed in percentage of travel. Okay, flow of fluid expressed in percentage of full flow. That's it. So, it's basically a relationship between stem travel expressed in percentage of travel and the flow of fluid through the valve expressed in percentage of full flow. That's all, friends. It's very simple. Okay. Then, we, this also we know, right? Quick opening, linear, and equal percentage. Okay. I just put this slide, you know, to just give an intro part. Okay. We'll move on with the other concepts involved in these three characteristics. Okay. Before going into the three characteristics, let's start with what is inherent flow characteristics. Okay, friends, here it's also very simple. The relationship between flow rate and closure member travel, that is a valve plug, as it is moved from close position to rated travel with constant pressure drop across the valve. So, inherent flow characteristics means with constant pressure drop across the valve. So, this is the one we need to take note. So, the relationship between flow rate and closure member travel as it is moved from close position to rated travel with constant pressure drop across the fan. Okay, we have one more characteristics. Installed flow characteristics. What is it installed flow? Again, the relationship between flow rate and closure member travel as it is moved from close position to rated travel as the pressure drop across the van is influenced by varying process conditions. So if you look at inherent, the pressure drop was constant. Okay, friends? Yeah. Here in install flow, the pressure drop is influenced by varying process condition. So that's the difference between this inherent flow and install flow. I think the concept is very clear. Okay, friends. We'll move on to the details of the three characteristics. Okay. First, we'll talk about linear flow characteristics. Before going to the concept, I want to show the look and feel of the plug seating and the stem arrangement. I think from this, you can clearly make out, right friends? Uh, yeah, the look and feel will be like this. So can you, you know, uh, make out what is the linear flow? Yes, you are right. So here, the valve with an ideal linear inherent flow characteristics produce a flow rate, which is directly proportional to that amount of valve plaque travel throughout the travel ring. 
So that's the concept here. So directly proportional to the amount of valve plug travel. Okay, friends? Okay, to just add on, for example, at 50% of rated flow, the flow rate is 50%. At 80% of rated travel, the flow rate is 80%. That's it, as simple as that. Okay, friends? Yes. Okay, here you have to also note the change of flow rate is constant with respect to the valve plug travel. Okay, friends? Okay, so the, in a nutshell, Flow rate, is, flow rate is directly proportional to the valve lift at constant pressure drop. So here, what, how actually the behavior, so the flow increases linearly with the valve plug travel. So it's very simple. From the name itself, we can make out, but I just elaborated with few, you know, additional notes. Okay, friends, linear is very clear. I hope you got some refreshment, you know, on this uh, linear. Okay. So here, one more point also to note. Sensitivity is always constant. Okay, It's not an increasing or it's not decreasing. Sensitivity is always constant. So this is about the linear. Okay, friends, we'll move on to the equal percentage. Again, the name itself, uh, you know, you can make out. Okay, this is the look and feel of the stem plug and seat arrangement. Okay, friends, and also this is the uh, you know, plug arrangement. You can see the, you know, the shape, uh, typical shape, uh, okay? So, what is it? So, here, for equal increments of valve plug travel, uh, for equal increments uh, of valve plug travel, the change in flow rate is expressed as a constant percent of flow at the time of change. So, the change of flow rate is expressed as a constant percentage of flow at, a, at the time of change. So that's a concept here. To elaborate further, for equal increments of uh, in valve plug travel in this, uh, the flow increases the flow rate by a certain percentage of previous flow. So basically, it's like you know, you know, a logarithmic. We can call it as an exponential. So that's a concept here. Yeah, this is what equal increments in valve plug travel produces equal percentage of change in the existing flow. That's the thing. So what is it? So the flow increases exponentially with valve plug travel. So as I said earlier, this is flow increases exponentially. So with the valve plug travel, that's it. We call it as a logarithmic. Okay. So that's the concept of equal percentage. Okay, friends. I think this is also very clear. Right. Then we'll move on to the equal percentage with some more you know, additional uh, add-on notes. So here, one thing uh, we need to be uh, very clear. Uh, here, the change in flow rate uh, during travel will be relatively small when the valve plug is near its seat. Okay, friends? When the valve plug uh, is near its seat, uh, so the flow rate uh, will be relatively small when the valve plug is near its seat. So you can see the flow rate, you know, it's relatively small and relatively high when the valve plug is wide open. So this is the concept, uh, friends. I think this is also clear. So again, I repeat, this is the very important concept here. Change in flow rate during travel will be relatively small when the plug is near its seat. Okay. It's obvious, right? When it's near its seat, you know, the flow rate is small. Okay. Then when it moves up, the flow rate is high, relatively high. So that's it. Okay, friends. So, okay. So again, it provides precise throttling control through the lower portion of the travel range. Okay. And rapidly increasing through the, as the rapidly increasing capacity as a valve plug nears wide open. So I'm just, substitute, you know, uh, what do you call, supporting this statement with that a different uh, way of, you know, uh, explanation. So it provides precise throttling control. There is no doubt, okay? Through the lower portion of the travel range and rapidly increasing as the valve plug uh, wide open. So that's a concept, uh, friends. Okay, I'm not doing any animation here, but I'm you know, you know, trying to explain as much as possible. Okay, friends? Yes. So here, if you remember the linear, it was the sensitivity was constant. Okay, there is no uh, change. But here it's increasing sensitivity. So that's a concept we should do. We need to remember. 
Okay, friends. Right. Then we'll move on to the quick opening. So here also you can see the look and feel of the plug stem and uh, seat arrangement. So here how? So here the valve with quick opening flow characteristics provides a maximum change in flow rate at low travels and small changes when the valve plug is near maximum. So it's a like you know reverse of the previous equal percentage. You can see here right. It provides a maximum change in flow rate at low travels. So here when it is low, it is causing a maximum uh, uh, change. But the changes is small when the valve plug is near the maximum. So that is the concept here, friends. I think it's all clear, right? Okay, good. So if you recollect the previous one, what is that? Equal percentage. So there, the challenge is change in the flow rate during travel will be relatively small when the plug is near its seat. But here it is not like that. It provides a maximum change in flow rate when at low travels and small changes when the plug is near the maximum. So this is the concept here. Okay. Also, we can say in another term, in terms of gain. So it provides high gain, okay, and low percentage of wall travel and low gain at high percentage of wall travel. Okay, friends, I think you can correlate this both. It's very simple. Huh? I just put it in a different form of uh, uh, explanation. That's it. Okay, then another important thing here, the curve is linear first term throughout the first 40% of the plug travel. Here, 40% of the plug travel, huh? 40%, uh, it's uh, throughout it's linear actually, okay? Then flatten out to indicate there is only a little increase in flow rate as the travel approaches wide open. So this is also, you know, I'm just explaining in a different way, that's it. So the point is throughout the first 40% of the valve plug travel, it flatten out actually. Then it after that it flatten out, okay? First 40% it's linear. Then after that it flatten out, and there is no, I mean, there is a little increase in the flow rate as the travel approaches wide open. So now you can see here, there is some similarity between this and, uh, you know, the linear characteristics. Okay, that we will uh, uh, discuss in the, you know, usage uh, uh, and application in the last slide. Okay, friends. So here, what happened to the sensitivity? Sensitivity is decreasing sensitivity. So that's a concept here. Okay, friends. I think this is also clear. Now the last applications, okay. So for a linear characteristics, where we can uh, find, uh, I mean, which application we can use linear? So predominantly for a liquid level or flow loops. And of course, the gain should be constant, okay. And another one, where pressure drop across the valve is expected to remain fairly constant. You can make out friends. So just remember, linear uh, characteristics find application in liquid level and flow loops. So that's a thing. And second application is pressure drop across the valve expected to remain fairly constant, meaning steady state system. So it's very clear, right? So you can just yeah, remember, that's it. The so linear is clear. Then we'll go to equal percentage. So this is, you can see here, Large changes in pressure drop are expected. When you see, when you expect some large changes in pressure drop, then you go for equal percentage. Okay, friends. And another one also, I just want to put it. Actually, yeah, this if you select this characteristic sum, the small percentage of pressure drop is permitted by the valve, actually. This is, you know, typical characteristics of this uh, uh, equal percentage. Okay. So that one you just remember, that's it. Then it is also used for temperature and pressure control loops. Okay, friends, if you remember the previous slide, linear, it used for level and flow loops. Okay, here equal percentage, temperature and control loops. Just remember this concept, that is more than enough. Okay, friends? Okay, good, this is clear. Then we go to the 
final characteristics. Quick opening. Okay. As, as the name suggests, quick opening. Okay. Frequent on of service. Okay, friends. And another one is used for process where instantly large flow is needed. Okay. So if you remember the, uh, you know, the concept here, because the curve was linear through the first 40% of the flux travel, then you can, you know, get the flow, maximum flow actually. So that is where it is used for instantly large flow. Immediately large flow is needed, then we use for this, use this quick opening. And uh, typically it's used for a safety system, okay, or cooling water system. So this is the, you know, uh, application. Then another thing I just want to correlate this with a linear. If you see the graph, actually, I don't, I don't know whether you remember the graph, huh? the quick opening and the linear and equal percentage graph, which we discussed in the first, uh, you know, uh, third slide. Huh? You can see here uh, the uh, basically the linear flow are recommended because the quick opening characteristics is linear up to seventy percent actually. So the quick opening is linear up to seventy percent of the maximum flow rate. So what I'm saying is this quick opening and a linear flow, almost same application. So that's a point. Same application where linear flow characteristics are recommended because the quick opening characteristics is linear up to 70% of the maximum flow rate. Okay, friends, I think you got some, you know, I mean, a refresher, I cannot say insights. Of course, you know, we all know this, but, you know, some refresher. Just, you know, recollect what is quick opening, what is, you know, linear, equal percentage, all this. Just want to, you know, put something uh, uh, for your benefits, especially the freshers. Okay, friends, thanks a lot again for your support. See you all with another interesting topic. Until then, bye-bye from Rambala. Thank you.